the Formula One team known as Scuderia Ferrari is working tirelessly to achieve its goal. It's been over 15 years since the prancing horse last celebrated a world championship, a situation that is no longer acceptable for the Italian side. Competing in the top tier of the most important motorsport series is serious business. To reach the pinnacle, there is an immense amount of work required behind the scenes. And even when the car is up to the task, other factors come into play in order for a team to be able to reach the ultimate goal. Simply having the best car does not automatically guarantee victory, and we have seen this scenario with McLaren several times this season. This opening statement isn't exactly groundbreaking, but it does reflect a situation Ferrari has found itself in recently. Take the 2018 Formula One season, for instance, a championship where Ferrari certainly had a car capable of winning. The technical package was on par with Mercedes, the team that eventually won the title, and on certain tracks, Ferrari's car even proved superior. The real difference was Mercedes's ability to optimize the resources which their car offered. In contrast, Ferrari struggled to maximize their car's performance, and when it came time to nail the final aerodynamic updates in order to fight for the world championship in the last three Grands Prix, Ferrari completely faltered. It was a real shame because much more could and should have been achieved that season. In addition to the mistakes with upgrades and aerodynamic packages, strategic errors also played a significant role, effectively helping Mercedes secure the 2018 Formula One title. This is a fact that cannot be sugarcoated. Driver errors also contributed to the lost championship. Sebastian Vettel, despite his wealth of experience and four world titles with Red Bull, succumbed to the intense pressure that surrounds Ferrari, making costly mistakes on several occasions. But the point here is not to criticize Sebastian Vettel's performance, as the German remains one of the best drivers of the last two decades. This topic has been well covered by the media, and opinions have been given. The mention of these events ties into recent comments from Ferrari's senior engineer Jock Clear. Lately, English senior performance engineer Jock Clear has been quite vocal, and it is refreshing to see Ferrari becoming more transparent with its fans. After spending years focusing on the drivers, the British engineer has recently taken on the role of explaining Ferrari's situation. In the past weeks, he has discussed the technical issues that have plagued the SF24 car, problems that sidelined Ferrari's ability to compete at the top for over two months, a situation which has realistically taken the Marinello team out of the battle for the F1 titles this year. During this period, Ferrari lost the optimal setup window, leading to a series of on-track tests in an attempt to correct the mistakes made in the car's floor upgrade introduced at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona. A key component under the current technical regulations plays a crucial role in determining a car's peak performance. We have delved into this subject extensively, aiming to explain in detail what went wrong by analyzing the SF24's on-track behavior, which showed no correlation with the theoretical data. The car stopped performing as expected, putting both Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz in a challenging position, starting with the Spanish Grand Prix. Acting as the team's spokesperson, Jock Clear pointed out that even a 5 mm difference in the Ferrari's floor adjustment can significantly impact the car's performance. And he wasn't wrong. The British engineer was well aware that things inside the Marinello factory should have been handled differently. Recently, during his appearance on the F1 Nation podcast, Jock Clear discussed Charles Leclerc in depth. He praised the Monegasque driver, and rightly so. Jock Clear particularly highlighted Charles Leclerc's performance in the 2022 Formula One Championship when, for around 10 Grands Prix, the F175 was competitive allowing the Monegasque driver to go head-to-head -head with Red Bull and Max Verstappen. Ferrari has unfortunately earned a reputation E.R. being unable to sustain a championship assault, and Charles Leclerc's best shot at a title in 2022 unraveling in spectacular circumstances. The Monegasque driver capitalized on Ferrari's revival under F1's new regulations that term to open up a 34-point lead inside three races but he ended the campaign 146 points down. The Italian mark spurned several opportunities through strategic blunders and technical gremlins, while it also lost out in the development race up against Red Bull. Jock Clear has conceded that Ferrari was not at a stage in its development as a team where it was prepared in all departments to compete with an established competitor. At the same time, the British engineer is adamant that Ferrari harbors zero concerns about whether Charles Leclerc is up to the task, as he acknowledged that the onus is on the team to step up to the plate. Ferrari has therefore expressed that
that it must aim to operate on the same level that Charles Leclerc can to ensure that it produces a championship-winning package in Formula One. This highlights why Charles Leclerc, who resides in Monaco, is seen as the right person to secure a world championship for Ferrari. From his early days in Ferrari's driver academy, the Monegasque driver showed extraordinary talent and abilities, which earned him a race seat after just one year of experience with Sauber Alfa Romeo. The best driver we've seen in qualifying, the Englishman remarked, adding that Charles Leclerc has significantly improved in race management over the years. This is a fact worth emphasizing, especially since Charles Leclerc, while driving at 300 km per hour, has often suggested or corrected strategic calls made by the Marinello team. These decisions come from the technical staff monitoring the race from behind computer screens, equipped with masses of data, yet sometimes it's the driver who makes the right call. Jock Clear's mea culpa is admirable, as he acknowledges the factors we have previously discussed. If Mercedes and Red Bull have won, it's because of the collective effort put into every aspect of their work. A competitive car is essential, of course, but equally important is full support from the entire team. Having Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen on your roster isn't enough on its own. If the team isn't operating at the same high level as the drivers and the car, the outcome remains the same. You lose. Scuderia Ferrari has likely already come to this realization behind closed doors. But the fact that it's being openly discussed now, as the Marinello team aims to build a winning cycle, is an encouraging sign. A deep self-awareness is necessary to reach the top. And according to Jock Clear, the time for Ferrari to take this critical step has finally come. Regarding Charles Leclerc, he already knows what it is like going up against a multi-time world champion, having spent his first two Ferrari seasons as teammate to Sebastian Vettel. But now, the Monegasque must take on the challenge of being teammate to statistically F1's most successful driver of all time in Lewis Hamilton, and it is a challenge which represents opportunity for Charles Leclerc. And upon his Ferrari F1 2025 arrival, Lewis Hamilton can expect a car capable of a title challenge, according to his future Marinello teammate. Speaking in a recent interview for ESPN about Ferrari's future, Charles Leclerc mentioned that the Marinello team is seeing significant improvements and just needs time to implement the upgrades. When asked if it is realistic for Ferrari to challenge for the Formula One title next season, the Monegasque driver confirmed that it is, joking that this would be the headline. He emphasized that the development is a constant, evolving process, with the aim of continuous improvement. Charles Leclerc expressed confidence that 2025 would be strong for Ferrari, 2026 even better, and 2027 would see further optimization. However, he acknowledged that the progress is relative, as other teams are also improving. Despite this, he has no doubt Ferrari will make a step forward next year and continue advancing in the following seasons.